Happy Friday, everybody. Joe Carabasa here. And I, today's, the question I'm going to answer today, I got from a lot of different people through Facebook and Twitter. From when I announced that I was going to be dieting for the next four weeks, a lot of people asked, well, what are you going to be doing differently? And, and really, what's this whole thing about? So I'm going to share that with you today, some major things that I'm going to focus on. And also give you the opportunity to get onto my, my newsletter list uh, at the end of, uh, of this little video so that you can get the exact details deeper into what I'm going to be doing over the next four weeks. See, I view the body as a masterpiece, as something that you can continually always improve and always better, whether it's your heart capacity, your lung capacity, whether it's muscle symmetry or muscle definition, it's uh, you know, flattening your stomach or you know, whatever it is, whatever your goal is, there's just so many different ways that you can constantly evolve it. And I love the challenge of finding those ways through experimenting with different workout styles, techniques, routines different ways to eat that you may not think about, you know, the kind of out of the box way of thinking that can make crappy, well, crappy tasting foods taste amazing. So it allows you to eat more of them or get benefits from removing certain things that also bring a lot of calories in, in other ways. So it is just, I love the process of experimenting with it and I'm going to relay all that stuff to you so that you can kind of adapt it and use it to your life. So. Uh, this is going to be an exciting four weeks. I actually, there's three left to be honest with you. I started this diet last week, and here's some things that I'm doing. So really, I have a hypothesis for each of these things as to what I expect to happen. And the photo shoot is kind of like a culmination of everything, where I can actually see through professional photography, you know, did these things work to what I figured they would? And also, I'll be recording my feelings and actual physical changes throughout the three weeks, well, the rest of the three weeks as well. So. First thing I'm going to be doing is removing gluten and lactose. So gluten is, is really the, the wheat protein germ that's found in, in almost everything nowadays if you're not careful. And also lactose. And what I have found and what I, through research and also I've experimented with this stuff before is that it, uh, by doing so, it reduces bloating around your stomach. So this area that we all want to reduce, you feel less bloated, you, you feel less lethargic, uh, and also your digestion increases. And digestion is a very key part of fat loss. So that means the food you're putting through your body moves through your body. And so you're not holding on to it for fat. So this is something I'm going to be doing all but one meal. And I'm going to do two cheat meals. So normally I would do 24 hour period of cheat uh, where I wouldn't binge, but I would have kind of things that I wanted to that are outside of my typical diet. And that's like kind of like my everyday um, way of eating. But in this short period of time, there's, there's no, especially if I'm trying to get as lean as possible, there's less margin for error. So I'm only going to have two controlled portioned cheat meals over the four week period with the goal of these cheat meals to kind of give my body a shock. So to, to, to get it off of its healthy way of eating and processing and, and, and keep the metabolism flowing, kind of give it a, a, a kind of a surprise and, and so make it react more. And those cheat meals are going to be planned or are programmed so that the workouts that are following the cheat meals are higher intensity so I can use those calories that I took in through the cheat meals to build more lean muscle, to have more energy, to do longer, harder workouts. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove all packaged and processed food items. Now, I'm not someone who eats chips and cookies at all, really. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm taking it next further. I do love those rotisserie chickens at grocery stores. Those things are awesome. They taste good. They're convenient. But with that, I was always aware of it, but I'm cutting it out for this particular diet, is there's a lot of sodium. There's a lot of other things that, are, are, that allow those chickens to kind of hang out in the can. <laughs> and stay warm for hours on end without going bad. And there's also a lot of flavor and a lot of calories mixed in. So I'm cutting those off. Organic peanut butter, I'm not even buying that. If I do eat peanut butter or walnut butter or cashew butter, I'm gonna home make it so I know exactly how much I'm putting in it. And there's no other processing. Because even, even like the, the best of foods in the world that you might buy at Trader Joe's or Whole, Whole Foods, go through a degree of processing which can screw up with your digestion. Um, some other things I am cutting out with that are, uh, well, alcohol, I'm not doing any alcohol, not that I drink a lot, but removing it, because as you know, alcohol is, is empty calories, um, and you know, you're getting seven calories a gram, which adds up. So, removing that stuff. 
Uh, next thing is removing flavored Greek yogurt and reducing the intake of bananas for me. Now remember, the, all this stuff is personal for, for my own diet, but you can, might need to relate. Flavored Greek yogurt, you might think, well, it's healthy, it's Greek yogurt, it's, it's strawberries, strawberries are healthy, yes. But it's also a lot of sugar. I mean, in, in a given Greek yogurt flavor, you might get you know, 20 to 30 grams of sugar, which is almost more than candy in some senses. Now, obviously Greek yogurt's better, but again, smaller margin for error in this diet, so I don't want to take in those extra sugar calories. Additionally, as bananas have so many benefits to them, they're also one of the highest, the highest fruit, uh, sorry, highest sugar content in fruit. So, um, while they're very beneficial, I'm gonna get those benefits elsewhere and reduce the amount. So if I have a banana, it'll be a half a banana for a serving size. Um, but really, the, you know, the best way for me to kind of reduce or cut something is just to put it out of sight, out of mind. So probably won't be buying bananas because I love those damn things. I could eat two of them easy. Um, all right, also, I'm gonna be on a strict 2,508 calorie diet. Uh, calories per day. Now, I'm not a calorie counter, I don't recommend you do too. But to have a relative idea of what is a healthy weight and fat management uh, number for amount of calories is good. And then to take that number and actually track the calories that you eat throughout the day so you can get a relative idea. So, you know, how, what, what does 2,500 calories mean? You know, if you just look at that number, you're not going to know. But if you really pay attention to what you're eating and plan it out, you can know eating certain things at different times is, is going to, certain things you can, you can do and some things you can't and you know exactly what to follow to hit that, that calorie goal. So I'm not count, counting every day, I did it once and now I have a relative idea as to where I'm at and when I get a cheat meal that's going to be factored into the 2500 calories as well, so which is a key point. Um, now a lot of people have been saying like, well, why do you want to drop body fat, like you're already lean, I, I understand that and I appreciate that. But again, my goal is to really carve and rip and, and get as lean as possible. And as I'm not really looking to lose a lot of weight, you know, I'm at 209 right now. I expect by the time I'm done with this, I'll be around 203, um, maybe. I don't care if I'm that or you know 209 or 210 for that matter. But I do expect by decreasing my calorie intake that I will drop weight. My main goal is to drop body fat and. Um, you know, a big thing I tell all my clients, and I fully believe in, and I know it's true, is that muscle does weigh more than fat. Uh, and, and your weight, having a lower weight, is, should never be a goal. So, weight is not a goal for me, but I am dropping calories to drop the amount of calories that are stored in my body, which can lead to body fat, which is what I'm more concerned about, not weight. All right, tea juice. Um, I got this concept actually from Isabel, a friend of mine, Isabel Darios, of, uh, uh, my diet solutions, which is a great product to check out, and she's an awesome uh, nutrition coach. And essentially, it's taking in teas that you like, whether it's mint or some sort of uh, berry tea. Uh, you know, typically white teas because they're, they're, there's less caffeine content in them. And make tea, and then refrigerate them. You could add some stevia to it, which is really the only uh, artificial sweetener I, I trust because it's from nature. And um, you can chill it just as you would put anything in a refrigerator to drink. And the good thing about it is you can get natural flavors at very little calories. See, like you, I get that sugar craving as well. And um, normally I would go for my chocolate almond milk, but even then, those, those, that's sugar and, and calories that I just don't want to put in at this point. So tea juice will be a, a lower calorie way of doing that. Um, the last three days of my meal plan, so from Wednesday night to Saturday when my shoot is um, at the third week or going to the second week of May, I am doing a three-day juice fast. The juice fast is going to be with all or juice is going to be fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Um, and the only exception is I'm going to be taking regular uh, lactose-free and gluten-free protein powder. And the reason is I know you can get protein from vegetables, but that's just, to, to me, that's just not enough protein. And it's not as complete as a protein. So I'm going to remain with my protein powder as is, but just be on a juice, uh, a juice fast. And quickly what that will do, but your, your body requires kind of less calories when you go on a juice fast because it's less needed for digestion. Um, but also it gives you, your, your, kind of your, your, your system a, almost like a break. All right, you're not putting as much stress on it. 
because it's not breaking down all the food. So it works more efficiently and it'll also go into your body and use whatever you have left uh, in stored calories as energy so that you don't need to take in as much again and you know, it'll help you even cut even more. All right, so those are uh, some things, quick things that I'm gonna be doing. Go to KarabasiTraining.com and go sign up for my newsletter there. And if you do that, what I'll, what I'll do is, oh, through the course of this, um, the next three weeks, I'm gonna share with you any supplements I take, which I'm only taking a few, three to be exact, um, and also different little insight into my workouts, how they're created, what things you could probably take from those workouts and do for yourself, because hey, beach season's around the corner, and I want you to get in as best shape as possible. I know for sure, although I am testing a lot of this stuff, a lot of it works, and you will be able to benefit from it as well. So, go to carebossetraining.com, sign up for that newsletter, and I will be sure to include you along with everything I'm doing. This will be the last Friday question where I answer stuff about the diet, just because, you know, some people don't care, care about it, to be honest with you. A lot of people do, I get a lot of questions on it, but, uh, I want to answer some other questions. So if you do have a question for next week, make sure to tweet or Facebook it in. I look forward to helping you with it. So go ahead, sign up for that newsletter, and have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching.